For years, Dr. Mark Blackmore and his students have captured and studied mosquitoes in Valdosta and Lowndes County. It's been going on for, in some form, uh, since 2001, and uh, for the last 12 years, we've been doing it in a very um, uniform way, which really gives us um, a, a strong set of data that we can compare uh, what's going on now to what's typical, or, or find things that are atypical. And um, so that's, um, uh, I think, one of the strengths of our program. The city and county uses the information they receive to better control the mosquito population. What we do is look at the numbers that come in. Uh, we've got some of the traps that's located throughout the city. And we'll look at the numbers. And if one of the numbers escalates real high, what we'll do is send out a truck to do some extra additional spraying. The research is also helpful for public health to inform residents if there are any mosquito-borne diseases in the area. Uh, viruses that are potentially uh, important for human health or veterinary health. And so um, the beginning of this program was when West Nile virus first showed up here in South Georgia in 2001. And um, we have had Eastern Equine Encephalitis virus here since time immemorial. And that's one that this particular time of year we're very concerned about. So we see sort of a seasonality with these where the uh, Eastern equine encephalitis, which I'm just going to call triple E to make it a little less of a mouthful, but triple E is um, something that we see typically in the early summer and then in the late summer in August and September is when we see uh, more West Nile virus. The purpose of the whole program, the surveillance program, is to get out ahead of these diseases and find them before they become problems and um, make people sick, make our livestock sick. For more information on the program, contact the Department of Biology at VSU at 229-333-5759.